uh, the, the court, uh, recording is now uh, officially started to extend on what Lulu said. I, I had a client one time, very charming, very lovely lady who was definitely blocked in her personal life. And but, uh, I, was, I was taken by how sort of like very sweet, innocent and charming that she was, uh, she was coming across. And she definitely had convinced herself that the reason why she had not had a fulfilling relationship is that she was too much of a pure soul to align, align herself with the mundane realities of relationships. And uh, I, have, I, have, I have heard stories like this. Uh, uh, I have heard this, this, this type of escape where I am not my body, I am not my humanity, I am, I am my, I am, I am my soul. I am from this cosmic place. I, I am from, I am from, I am a star seed. And this is where I identify with. And I know that there are a lot of people who I have no doubt, I have no doubt they're deeply spiritual people. And I don't doubt their, their stories because I do believe, I do believe that there are, that there are star seeds that do inc incarnate here. But the, the extent of, uh, they come in and they experience this terrible trauma, a terrible trauma, which is very common for them uh, in their humanity to repress it, to repress it, to disassociate, and just sort of like go on this, stay on this level where, you know, these, these lovely ethereal, uh, spiritual cosmic realms are far more interesting than the, you know, the painfulness and the messiness of, of the hu human realm. And I, all I had to do was just ask her a couple of questions and you know she she did have trauma from her past you know she had she did experience abuse and she definitely had a father who was not there for her uh no way no way in how she was raised did she could she possibly have learned anything healthy and that's that's definitely where we started uh and uh i'm i'm always, and i do and i do have uh i, I do have uh a, I have written a, a blog about this in my uh, my web page called Yearning for Our Cosmic Home, and it it does it does it shows it 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 comes from my experience of all the ways in which we sort of like deny our humanity, and and sort of like and sort of like spiritually bypass to this place where we think that our spiritual our spiritual identity is the only thing that matters. When I say no, being on Earth and humanity is part of the sacred dimension in which we must bring into the whole because, okay, I've, I see this. Okay, we sometimes, I, okay, there is this comparison where in Christianity, there's this where we reject the body, it's terrible, it's sinful. But I, I see this happening in the new age community, except that the lingo is different. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, a, I, I'm, I'm hearing new age people call, oh, we are spiritual be beings, but our bodies are just meat sacks. I'm just like, are you listening to yourself here? <laughs> but uh, but uh, in terms of uh, in terms of what vortex healing has taught me is that okay is uh, is that no way can this can th then what this healing that I give to myself and I give to others bypass our darkness, our pain, and our light, okay? And that has been the evolution of, of, what I've, of what I've brought to doing vortex healing on myself and also taking the vortex healing transmissions. Uh, like I remember doing a healing on myself and it brought me to this, this place on the playground where I, I experienced a little pain from being teased or, some, or something like that. It's something that our minds would determine as minuscule and what, what, so what's important about that? But in terms of our own healing, uh, in terms of our own, in terms of our healing, that is incredibly important, most significant, because the the light will, in the end, the light will always shine into our darkness. We cannot bypass that, uh, and that's what it continues to do uh, uh, for me to this day. Uh, I'm going through one of the hardest times in my life because I have experienced a tremendous amount of loss and death. Uh, quite a few loved ones and relatives have died in these in these past few months, and uh, you know, just dealing with that, dealing with that grief. But 
what what it's definitely it's okay i i'm very i very careful to say this but what what is happening to me right now in terms of all this hardship and grief right now is definitely aligned with uh the confrontation of, an, of another level of of my own shadow side which i have to confront another sorry level. to hear that simon life to us thank many you. blessings thank you uh 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 as i go through this hardship i i am i i am confronted with my deepest doubts i'm confronted by my deepest fears uh and you have to, okay and and it's very tempting to, to get lost in it because it's just so overwhelming but that is okay that is that is the tide of where the light takes you you can resist it or you can bring light into it and uh i i just wrote this uh recently as sort of like my own inspiration just recently on my instagram i said okay sometimes okay it's so easy to get lost in the darkness but then it comes to a point where you have make the choice i am the light in the darkness and the thing is, is that we don't have to worry about whether we're getting it right or not because there's no pass or fail here this is the lesson of the universe that has evolved we are we are given this lesson over and over and over again until we get it like i am lost in the dark i am i am the light in the dark and that lesson will repeat itself until we understand and that is what i am learning right now it's a very hard time it's a very hard time for me and i'm constantly going back to that i give i give myself space to feel this grief and this loss but from what i have learned through the grace through the, through the, through, from the grace of this of this lineage i'm part of the, the tie turns back to this truth of what your soul is i am the light within this darkness and so is everyone here as well. Uh, so uh, thank you. That's beautiful. Uh, That's very beautiful words. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share about your story? Uh, I want to tell people that uh, that for those who have experienced death, to have faith that these people are in a, are in a better place, and not only are they in a better place, do not allow your sadness and your grief to build a barrier to the to the truth that as souls we are truly our infinite beings. And if we allow ourselves to access our, within our hearts and within our souls, we can send our love and our light to these people who have passed over. I have I've experienced this. I'm lucky because I'm a natural intuitive, so I feel it, but I want everyone to have faith that they are, they are still there. They're just in another dimension. They just entered another place. And you can send them their love and light and they will feel it because they are now in a place where time and space no longer really exist. So you send that intent and it's there. And I felt it so much with, with these loved ones who have passed on and I, I feel them acknowledging it. I sense that. And I want everyone to have faith that they can keep doing, they can keep doing that. Thank you, Simon.